This is the super hard part, is making something that's so soft like smoke feel like it's got that impact. Our main character, Delson, has basically the coolest power. It's, it's like going up to a genie and asking for more wishes. What happens is when he's near other conduits, he picks up their ability. The first power that he gets is the smoke power. That means he can drain it, he can turn into it, and he can project it. When you think about where is smoke in a city, you think of maybe chimneys, fires. You can get smoke from vehicles in this game, but you have to destroy them first. And of course, those end up blowing up and blowing up other things around them. And all those things now become smoke sources. Every designer loves a burning car. I don't know why, but every effects artist has to do this at some point. The PlayStation 4 is really allowing us to do some, some stuff that we couldn't before. And that meant writing new tools and new particle systems to accommodate that. All of our particles are, are self-shadowing, taking environment light. You can see that the particles are actually affected by the environment shadows as well. It just makes everything feel more connected to the world. It brings it all together. Honestly, for me, the effects are, are the coolest part of the game right now. In a fluid fashion, you can combo up uh, melee hits to dashes and moving away evasion stuff, to shooting, to dashing back in. You can dash through guys, grab them, flip them over. Bam! Oh, that's beautiful. It inspires that, that visceral reaction in people when they see it. Oh, it tosses things in the air, and then they kind of like almost hover with some smoke around them, and then they blow up. Instead of just, it's actually windy gusts of, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'm like, Whirlwind of smoke. Me too, me too, and these bad guys, right? And then right. at the end, all this crap's in the air. Blah! I'm gonna shoot this thing right in front of me. So, in the middle of combat, you know, there are bullets flying at you, grenades, whatever's coming at you. You can dodge left, dodge right, completely dematerialize, and then rematerialize somewhere else. You can also dash into uh, vents. So, we made this uh, effect where it sort of swirls in. Yeah, so he's actually cranking up, and then he kind of does a corkscrew, he jumps. It's um, one of those things that just gives you all this energy and you can sort of jump into combat, jump into action, and you feel so, uh, so powerful and quick and you almost want to get surrounded. You're waiting for that moment to get surrounded so that you could just unleash this power that they didn't even know you had. Delson is basically conjuring up a storm of smoke and ash. I think that if you, if you time dilate, you can push all the ambience down and it gets kind of quiet almost, yeah. like, a, like an inhale. Yeah. It kind of has that... We were really pushing it. Let's have Delson go as high as freaking possible. Here he is, he's in the air, he kind of tucks in. By the time it gets to, you know, about here, he's pretty he much reformed at that point, yeah. And then he kind of dive bombs in. And at that point, he's kind of like dematerialized. Anything breakable, it's going to destroy. Yeah. Any car, it's going to toss, tumble, throw. Yeah. Any, any person. Yeah. Maximum number of things flying around in the air. We're trying to make you feel like you're, you're this unstoppable force, and it takes wave after wave of enemy to, to give you a challenge. Your character is the weapon, and that's something that's really, really turned out to be a lot of fun.